I'm Josh Whiteman with Garage Gurus, and for today's tech tip, we're going to address how to determine whether the Nissan is calibrated to the latest update or not. So, the first thing we're going to do is connect a simple scan tool to the vehicle. We're going to turn on the ignition. We're actually going to be able to go connect to the vehicle, decode the VIN, go ahead and hit auto scan. At this point, all we need to do is go into our ECM, go to ECU info, and we're going to take a look at this part number here. We can see that 23710-5HA4B, that's the part number that we're looking for. Once we have that part number, we are going to go ahead and go to the Nissan Tech Info website. We're going to log in. Once we're logged in, we're going to go back home and go to our Consult 3 reprogramming tile. Now you can see it's prompting us to enter in the first five digits. Since we know this one is not a blank module because you know it's already in the car and running, we don't need to go on our blank tab. We're going to go under the repro tab. So we're going to enter in those first five digits. 23710. Once we click on those first five digits, it's going to prompt us to type in the next five digits 5HA4B. And here we go. Since another file popped up right here, it's telling us there is a newer and more recent calibration available. So at that point, you would be able to determine um, if you need to call a mobile programmer out or if you're going to do it yourself. One way or another, you now know that there is an update available. A lot of our Nissan TSBs at this point are constantly referencing updating the vehicle to the latest calibration, whether it's something for a CVT judder code, a mass airflow sensor code, an airfield ratio code, you know, Previously, you didn't really understand how to uh, determine if it's already updated or not. Last thing you want to do is call the mobile guy out. He's going to charge you even if it's already been updated and he didn't do anything. You know, that's not great for the shop. It's not great to waste his time either. So now we know there is an update available and we could proceed, you know, however we're going to, depending on the shop that you're at. Again, I'm Josh Whiteman with Garage Brews. Thanks for watching.